well, you know, I'm a mom, so um, I've done stuff before, like potty training and things like that. So this one um, is about pacifiers, actually. A lot of parents, like when my daughter came out the hospital, she didn't cry that much in the first place. Half the time she was sleeping. I'm not going to lie. She slept like 23 hours a day, maybe 23 and a half, to be honest. All I did was shove the bottle in her mouth when she was sleeping or when she was awake and she ate. And she was up. She played with her little hands. That was basically it, right? But I did put her on the pacifier when she was actually in the hospital. <laughs> so, like, a day. Because I had a pacifier with me, washed and sterilized and everything with me. Lie. Lie. She had it when she was three days old. My bad. We came back from the hospital. But I don't know why I thought I had it in the hospital. Probably I had it with medicine and gave it to her. I think that was a problem. Or did I give it to her in the hospital? I don't remember. It's about to be four years in August. Who's remembering that? Some people might, but I don't know why I think she had it on in the hospital. But I'm pretty, more she, pretty sure she didn't she didn't cry that much. She didn't cry that much in the first place, but I still had it on the pacifier, but whatever. Um, To make it like, soothe, because I see her go like... Or just to give it to her when she did cry, which is not much. Um, So, um, a lot of people... I see their kids three four five years old with the pacifier the pa they have one, like well, i'm with my daughter <sighs> i bought a new pacifier probably every couple of months and i had a few of them so she's not like only stuck on one pacifier um when she was four months old she started going to daycare which i i recommend but do your research and know who the person is and things like that just don't leave a child just with anybody do some background work if you're gonna do leave a child with somebody if you live with somebody in family not because they're family, I mean they're going to be good people towards your child. Not because they're related to them, they're going to be wonderful. But um, do your due diligence and really find out somebody was good for you and good for your child. So, um, at daycare, most of the time, because she's at daycare, and I think it's also because she's around other kids, from what I understand, she mostly put her pacifiers in the fridge, in the freezer. I think it was a freezer, the fridge, whatever. And she knows which kid is which pacifier, because I had like a case for it and all that. Sometimes I put on her clothes in the morning because every morning I had a pacifier on her clothes. Like, I'll bring her to, I'll wake her up. She's groggy. I had the pacifier always attached to her clothes. And she also, also had one by the babysitter. So she needed one. She had one just in case I forgot it to put on her clothes every morning. But she didn't even need it because when she's at school, at the daycare, because they had bigger kids and they had her, like, her age. They'll have, like, I think two or three babies in the max and then bigger kids. So up to, like, two years old, they'll have two or three kids. And that's it. Because it's like, depending on how many people are on staff, you can have it, the ratio of kids. Like, the ratio of the person, the child, has to be a certain amount for a daycare. Because even though it was in a home, they got visits from the city, from Department of Health and all that. And children's services. I think it's children's services. They came to visit. That's the point. So she has to make sure things went together. I'm telling you this for no reason, to be honest, that part. <laughs> so because she's around kids all the time, majority of the time, she didn't use a pacifier because she interacted with more kids. Um... So she didn't really need it. She really didn't cry there. She loved being there. Um, so honestly, I feel like she had to pacify her more when she was with me. And because I was by myself and I, I needed help, most not most of the time, but sometimes I needed help. But she was crying and I like I couldn't concentrate while she crying. I don't believe in picking up babies when they cry. Especially if they're if they're fed. And I don't think her stomach is hurting her. Um, if she's clean, like if certain things like that. I know it was not wrong with her. She's just crying because she was in attention. I didn't pick her up. So she'll be tight. So I give her a pacifier. Honestly, she didn't cry much, but I'll give her a pacifier. And I'll do what I have to do because at the end of the day, by myself, clothes have to get washed. This has to get, your food has to get made. And I had to set up her um, milk from the night before. Like set up the water from the night before for the next day because they didn't make her milk at the daycare. I had to make her milk. So, yeah. But I put the stuff in the morning. That I have the water, make sure I have enough water for the day, like in the thermos. And I'll put it out in her little bottles from the night before so I can have it ready for the next day. So I can have everything prepared because it's just, and I didn't live in my own place at the time either. I lived in an apartment, so I had to do everything in the room. And it was just like so much going on. So I have the pacifier as a thing. She didn't, from what I remember, to be exact, when she passed one, pacifier was over, baby. What pacifier wear? I think the last pacifier she had was in Canada and it fell out. No, I had two. That's why I, got. I always had like two with me most of the time. One fall, I have another one back up. One fell out in Canada. 
she wrote me for I was like where the hell is the classifier I came back and went up like this mountain thing to see like the scenery when I went to Canada that fell out I had an aluminum car for her after that I threw that one away like what no I hate seeing kids with pacifiers honestly you're just gonna have to just make them cry till they get used to it probably do a little hand so they can get used to not having the pacifiers soothing them all the time one and a half don't make a push it to two like they're relying they want that for no reason they could they had kind of a teddy bear like and then kids have their teeth and the teeth growing in and the, the pacifier buffing it out no um other ways and also it's sucking fingers people put like aloe because aloe tastes disgusting on children's hands like put something that tastes disgusting and bitter on their hands so they won't put their fingers in their mouth um you could do that to the pacifier too like put something on the pacifier what they don't like and make them put it in their mouth and they'll not want to suck, suck it anymore so it won't it won't be so it'd be soothing but it will taste bad so they wouldn't want it that's another way um just make them cry for a couple of nights and they'll be all right hi so that's like a couple of things you can do to like get your child wean them off the pacifier and it's better for their teeth if you don't do that either so um yeah my daughter has excellent teeth excellent teeth hygiene also brush your teeth as they have teeth coming out start brushing them so don't get cavities and i don't like to see little kids with cavities either and it's like why because it's not their responsibility at the time anyway it's your responsibility to take care of them until they are able to do it themselves so if you don't teach them the right way to brush your teeth from now they're gonna be 30 with all cavities looking a hot mess and why they know how to do that stuff because you didn't teach them in the first place just saying all right later guys bye oh and get don't one thing also i'm sorry when you're starting off with pacifiers don't get the cheap little dinky ones certain things we have to get like brand name when it comes to babies you have to get it brand name off i know if you don't have the money they have so much coupons out there for certain things you'd be surprised just try to get it brand name because it'll be better for, they have like dentist recommended like pacifier try to look for that with like you know that kind of stuff because it's better for the child's mouth and their teeth okay all right Bye now, for real this time. Later.